Good morning, class. This is Miss D, and today I'm going to show you how to save your Pisco app to your student Google Drive. So the first thing that you're going to do is Google P I S K E L, and you'll go to your free online sprite editor. Then you are going to um, once it's pulled up, you'll go up to this upper right screen, and if it doesn't say who you are, you're going to hit that login button. Then once you've hit allow, you're going to go to my gallery, and it's going to pull up the different pistols that you created last week. So the first thing that you'll do is click on the one that you want to save to your drive, and click edit sprite. it's going to upload the sprite that you made last week. Next, you're going to go to this picture of the mountaintop on the far right hand corner of the screen. And when you put your mouse over it, uh, the ghost text is gonna pop up export and you'll click on export. You'll change your resolution. It's gonna be 32 by 32 for the default. You'll wanna make sure that it's a lot bigger than that. Otherwise it's gonna be teeny, teeny, tiny. So you'll change it to 320 by 320. You can make it even bigger than that if you want to, but 320 by 320 is a good size. Then you'll download as an animated GIF. You'll hit that download button. Okay, so it's going to save it into a temporary file. So what you'll want to do then is to go to your Google Drive, and that's going to be that little image of the triangle that's green, yellow, and blue, and you'll see that at the bottom of your screen. So you'll click on your drive. and you shall be patient as it loads. I'm going to take a sip of coffee now. Maybe two sips. This just gives you a chance to catch up. La di da. All right, fabulous. Then what you're going to do is on your drive, you'll see the different folders for your classes and you want to click on classroom and visual art because you want it to go in your visual art folder and not your math folder then in the empty space below your other saved files you're going to hit with two fingers on the keypad at the same time and you'll go to upload files Then you'll choose the file that you would like to save. So you'll choose that. And it will go and upload this GIF into your classroom file. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you save your animated GIF to your Google Drive. You will have it here for when you make your website. You'll be able to upload images from your Google Drive very, very easily. And it should be easy for you to find because you know which folder it's under. So hopefully this is a pretty easy process and you guys are going to enjoy making your Google sites. Have a good day.